setting up white toner for the envelope printer. Once only possible in the world of offset, one of the unique capabilities we have here at Indigo Ink is being able to print white ink digitally on various substrates. In this video, we will walk you through the steps to properly set up your file to print with white ink on our Oki envelope printer. The setup will be slightly different depending upon the job you're printing. Before we get started, a special note about printing white ink on customer supplied 85 by 11 or 11 by 17 cardstock on our Oki printer. In these cases, you will need to provide us with a PDF with .0625 bleeds and crops. Check out our resource page for instructions on how to do this. This video will be for setting up files for envelopes only. In our first example, we will describe how to set up a file that will print with white ink only, as shown here. When you are placing your order, it is super helpful to let us know that everything is to print 100% solid white. Step 1. Set all items to print as 100% black. Step 2. Output a PDF file. In our second example, we will describe how to set up a file that will print with CMYK only on a dark stock as shown here. In order for the CMYK layer to pop and not lose its vibrance due to the dark colored stock, a white ink layer is printed behind the CMYK layer. In terms of setup, the good news is you don't have to do anything. Our software will automatically add white toner behind all CMYK elements. Simply output a PDF file and let us know you want us to print white toner under all CMYK elements. For our last example, we will describe how to set up a file that will print with CMYK and white ink as shown here. In order for the CMYK layer to pop and not lose its vibrance due to the dark colored stock, a white ink layer is printed behind the CMYK layer. However, unlike the case of CMYK only, you will need to set up the file a little differently. Before we get started, note that in Illustrator or in Design, we recommend creating two separate layers. Name the first layer CMYK. Place your CMYK artwork on this layer. Name the second layer White. This layer goes above your CMYK layer. Place your white elements on this layer. Now on to step one. Create a new spot color named Spot Color White. That's spot color underscore white. You must capitalize and name the spot color that exact name or it will not work. You can pick any color build. We suggest 100% magenta so it's easy to see. Step two, set any elements desired to print with white toner to fill with spot color white. Step three, set all areas for white toner on top of all other elements so your file will look like this when the white layer is visible. Note that even though the white ink layer will print under the CMYK, you will set up the file so white is on top of your CMYK elements. Once on press, our software will print white under the CMYK. Step 4. Set all white toner elements to overprint fill and overprint stroke accordingly. This can be found in the attributes panel in InDesign or Illustrator. Step 5. Make sure all PMS and spot colors are set to convert to CMYK except the spot color white spot color. Step 6. Output PDF. You are set to print. We hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in how to set up a file for white ink on our HP Indigo Press, check out our previous video. And as always, if you have any questions or just want to chat about a project, feel free to reach out to us directly.